here at the Verdi Grass Art Centre celebrating the BFM International Film Festival. Tonight launches with a box office smash hit Looking for Love by film director Melanie Shabazz. Come with me. Is love in you? No. Hi, my name is Jay Change and you're watching Jew Media. I believe there's someone in Hi, I'm Paulette Harris German and I'm very excited to be here at the BFM International Film Festival Real Launch for the screening of Looking for Love. Hi, I'm joined by tonight's host Claire Clutty. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. What are you looking forward to tonight then? Oh, it's exciting. Even though it's really hot outside, people have come down and they're looking forward to screening. I'm looking forward to the screening of Looking for Love. Is this your first time at the BFM? It is my first time at the BFM, hopefully not my last time. It's very exciting, uh, celebrating you know, the, the greatest in black talent, filmmakers, directors, animators. Oh, exciting. I'm joined by Menelik Shabazz. How are you? I'm very well. I'm beautiful. You are the director of the BFM International Film Festival and we're so blessed to be here today. Thank you. Yes, it's a blessed occasion. The sun is shining and everything is shining bright. You started this festival a while back now. What was the motivation behind it? The motivation was really to increase the profile of black filmmaking and, to, and black cinema because there's so much of it in the world and yet we were never exposed to it. So that's really what the aim of the festival was about, really. And tonight we're screening the wonderful Looking for Love. Yeah, it's going to be released on the 21st of August uh, in the cinemas. And tonight is like a preview screening here at the festival. And um, yes, that's, that's to come. And it's a film that um, I'm sure has something for everyone. It's about love. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you. And look forward to seeing the film. Actually. Yes, it's all good. It's all the BFM International Film Festival. It's alive, it's ready, it's here, it's happening. We're looking for love. Exactly. Stay tuned, guys. Right. Hi, Paulette. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And yourself? Not too bad. Good, so you were good. the associate producer on this film? I'm one of the associate producers, yes, I am. Okay, how did you come about with the idea? Um, how did it all come about? The idea is actually Menelik's idea. Um, Menelik was at an event where, um, I'm not sure what the subject of the event was, but out of the conversation that was taking place, a young lady um, spoke up and said, you know, how difficult it was, she, or she was difficult a time she was having finding a relationship. And it just sparked something in him. Um, I worked with Menelik on the story of Lovers Rock and so it's kind of following the theme of love. I was the social producer on that also. So we're talking about looking for love today. Um, have you ever used poetry to you know woo somebody about <gasps> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Look, we're talking about looking for love, so there are so many different methods and, you know, trying to kind of get the other man, so has that been one of your methods maybe? Well, yes, actually I have used the spoken word in my quest for love. So how did you come about getting the part in the, in the film? <laughs> well, somebody had heard me perform and they were um, acquainted with Menelik. They knew he was doing this project and so they recommended me to him and he called me out of the blue and I was really, really, you know, surprised and humbled and excited. I've Nick for over the years and I'm really wanting to work with him. So uh, Paulick German Harris um, introduced me to Melanick and, uh, and I wrote two tracks, which uh, duet tracks with male and female. So I went back old school and uh, Melanick liked the tracks and put them on the film. See my part in there and um, knowing that guys of my generation don't really put it on the line like that, you know, um, um, I was worried about how my ex would, would, would feel when she's used it. <laughs> So how did you get involved with the film? Menelik invited me. I have three Facebook groups with a combined membership of 35,000 plus members. They're all relationship groups. Um, and I've also contributed to other people's books as well. So that's how Menelik tracked me down. Wow. So, I mean, give us some tips of how to look for, for love, because obviously some people are looking for love at the moment. The most important tip is to know yourself, as, as the movie says. You know, you've got a lot of people going into relationships with a lot of baggage. And there are too many people out there using relationships as therapy. You need to like sort yourself out first before you start going into relationships, otherwise it just causes drama. The film 
should be able to educate, entertain and enlighten people. And that's what this film did. Because yeah. I laughed a lot. It was very funny. And to be able to get information be, be, you know, from both sexes about what they feel love is about was quite interesting. I loved it. In three words, I enjoyed the film. <laughs> Twelve words. Brilliant, fantastic. And I want to see it again and I want it on DVD. Immediately. <laughs> Inspiring, entertaining and intelligent. So there you go, a great night at the end of the BFM International Film Festival. If you're looking for love, you know what to do. Look within and the rest will follow. My name's Juliet and you've been watching June Media, home of urban entertainment. Keep it locked here.